What's going on everyone? My name is Eric and you're watching the Get Me Out of Here vlog. Today is my first spring training game here in Mesa, Arizona. Gonna see the Chicago Cubs play the San Diego Padres. The Cactus League is in full swing, no pun intended. It is mid-March and this again is my very first time going to a spring training game with Major League Baseball. This is gonna be incredible. I'm a diehard Cubs fan, just moved here to Phoenix, Arizona this past summer from Chicago. Love going to games at Wrigley Field, but can't wait to check out Sloan Field today. It's gonna be an exciting roster this year. It's actually, I think, the most exciting roster in several years for the Cubs. Seiya Suzuki, we've got Cody Bellinger now from the Dodgers. We've got Dansby Swanson from the Atlanta Braves. I'm excited for baseball season to kick off and check out this old vintage Cubs sign behind me as well. Well, let's get this kicked off. I've got great seats. Let's go inside and I will show you what Sloan Field is like in our my first spring training Cubs game. Go Cubbies. And check it out, Clark Street. Just like in Chicago, the stadium is on Clark Street here in Mesa, Arizona. This is amazing. It feels like a little Wrigley Field. In fact, I think the stadium was built sometime in the last 10 years. But look at all the green iron that they've got here. It really reminds me of Wrigley Field. I love it. This is incredible. Again, it reminds me so much of Wrigley Field. You can see the lights there. They've got the green iron, the green steel there holding up the lights. The architecture is amazing here. And look, there's Clark Bear, the mascot of the Cubs. Clark is, uh, he's got a selfie going on, and I think there's planes flying overhead. Oh, wow. We got fighter jets flying overhead for the Cubs game today. That's amazing. It's very overcast, which is rare for Phoenix. Clark walking by. He's got the selfie stick. Not sure what he's doing with that. He's kind of looking at the crowd. taking the outfield. There's Dansby Swanson right there playing shortstop. Just won the World Series two years ago with the Atlanta Braves. Number five, Adam Engel. And here's the first pitch. the way to start the game. Four balls in a row, batter walked. There you go. There you go. This is why it's spring training. First strike. Two strikes. One more. Not off to a good start with pitching, but what's interesting is the new rule that was implemented this year. You can see there's a, a clock right here. It's a pitching clock. They've only got 20 seconds in between pitches. Oh, wow. It's a nice hit. Good catch. Yeah, as I was saying, they've got a pitching clock now, so you only have 20 seconds between pitches or you get penalized which is interesting because the pitcher is just going to get really tired a lot quicker, I feel like. There's not going to be a lot of time to, to kind of relax and reset reset your mind to get your next pitch in. So that's going to be interesting. I don't know if I like that rule. Oh! Oh! Nice dive by Swanson. Padres scored. 
Nice diving attempt by Dansby there. There you go. Got him out. Good job, Steele. A little rough start, but maybe he'll get back into his groove as we move on to the second inning. So this couple here got the game ball that Dansby Swanson just threw. You got that right there. That's great. <laughs> go Cubs, go. That's amazing. First at bat with the Cubs, Nico Horner at the plate. Let's see what he can do today. Oh, foul ball. And you can see Dansby Swanson warming up right behind Nico Horner. Ooh, nice hit. It's like a pop fly though. Yep, he's out, but nice hit. Here we go, Nico! Dansby Swanson at the plate. It's a cub. This is exciting. Ooh, darn. All right, well, nice hit, though. Okay, this is what spring training is all about, warming up. And Ian Happ up to bat. I want to correct myself. I think earlier I said 20 seconds between pitches. It's actually 15 seconds between pitches. This new time clock. Nice. Walk the batter. Ooh. Dang. Strike three. And first inning is over here at Sloan Field. Padres are up one to nothing. Look at that Windy City dog. You got the Chicago skyline there on the signage. And check this out. Not only do they have Vienna Beef Chicago dogs, they also have Sonoran dogs, which is a Phoenix, Arizona thing. Well, actually, actually I think they originally are from Tucson, Arizona. But that's an Arizona hot dog specialty. They are amazing. But because I'm at Sloan Field and it's a Chicago Cubs game, I got to go with my favorite, the Vienna Beef Chicago Dog. It's fun seeing all the different Chicago jerseys. This guy here rocking the Ernie Banks, Mr. Cub jersey. It's not a Chicago dog without Vienna Beef. Got to rep the sign right there. So this is what I purchased. It's just a plain hot dog on a sesame seed bun. So they have these stations. You actually make your own Chicago dog. They've got the toppings over here. The one thing you never do is you never put ketchup on a Chicago dog. That is against the rules. I don't see any ketchup anywhere. So they've got all the ingredients here for a Chicago dog. The green relish, tomatoes, onions, and sport peppers, and your pickle spear. Now the one ingredient that they could be missing is actually the uh, the salt. There's a certain salt that they put on the hot dog. I don't know if they have that here. Do you really? Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, there it is. The celery salt. They have it all. So you actually can make a genuine Chicago style hot dog at the station. So don't, don't be alarmed if you buy it and they just give you the hot dog. Look at that. That is awesome. Old style beer. They sell it here at this cart called Brews and More at Sloan Field. If you want to go with the Phoenix beer, you can go with the uh, the Four Peaks Brewery. That's good too. But come on, you're at a Cubs game? Gotta go old style. They also have Garrett's Popcorn here too, which is a Chicago delicacy. That is a real treat that I love Garrett's Popcorn. It's hard to find outside of Chicago. Look at this. I know people. I got connections. Sloan Field, home of the Chicago Cubs, welcomes. Get me out of here, Eric. Right here. Look at that. Love Sloan Field. Go Cubs, go. Check this out. I got the marquee behind me, the classic marquee, you know, just like at Wrigley Field. They've got the Chicago Cubs red marquee sign. They got their own version of it here at Sloan Field. So cheers. Go Cubs. Got the old style beer right here, Chicago style beer. And on top of that, I've got my Chicago style hot dog. Look at that. I'm gonna dig in and eat this in front of the spring training Cubs marquee. Mm. This is the first Chicago dog I've had in almost a year. Since I moved out here, I haven't had any Chicago dogs. Mm. It's amazing. Best hot 
dog in the world. Do not put ketchup on it. I lost my sport pepper. It doesn't get better than this. Mesa, Arizona, mid-March. It's like 75 degrees out. I went, so my last game at Wrigley Field, before I moved here, it was Cubs versus Dodgers back in May of last year. It was like 50 degrees out. And when you're in the shade, we, we got seats under, right, we're inside the stadium, so we were in the shade. It was like 40 degrees out. My friends, Mark and Bill, if you're watching this, you guys are a bunch of pussies. My friends had to use a blanket. They borrowed a pink blanket. I'll show you a clip of that here. You guys warm? But here in March in Phoenix, it is beautiful out. It feels like June weather in Chicago. Can't beat this. Chicago dog and old style beer. This is amazing. Go Cubs, go. And at this stand, they sell Goose Island beer. That's another Chicago beer company, Goose Island. That's a very popular one in the Windy City. Amazing views from the outfield. What's very unique about Sloan Field and spring training is look at this. You can pay, I think it's like 40 bucks just to lay out on the grass behind the outfield. It's actually a really good deal. And look at the views you have. No netting in the way. And you know, if they hit a home run, then good chance you can catch it. Nice hit. Dang. Out at first. You just bring your blankets, get some lawn chairs. And the largest bar here at Sloan Field is right behind you, Hornitos. I bet they have Malort there. Oh, you've got a Malort? Oh, look at that. Let me see. <laughs> that is amazing. So she's got a Jepson's Malort bottle opener, but they don't sell Malort here. They used to, but they don't anymore. I had to check. If there was any bet that they sold Malort here, it'd be this massive bar that they have behind the outfield. So, all right. They used to sell Malort, but they don't anymore. This is wild. There's an actual sand lot behind the outfield. Look at all the food trucks that they've got lined up. Like, no joke, this is a real sand lot. This is so cool. Behind the outfield, there's also like a little league field. They got kids playing, having fun, and they have like a, their own green ivy. And there he is. It's Clark Cubby, the mascot of the Cubs. He's out here. You can pose with him, you can get a picture. My friend here, Clark Cubby. Look at this, all the way from Chicago. Go Cubs, go. We're gonna, I think we're, this is gonna be a great season, right? I think this is gonna be a great season, 2023. High five, let's do this. Go Cubs, go. Shout out to Clark. Good to see you, big guy. I love the artwork surrounding Sloan Field. Look at that. It's like a baseball guy with all sorts of junk food in his hands, peanuts. A hot dog, a soda, and an ice cream cone or, or an ice cream bar. Chicago dogs and more. Some kind of incident happening on the field. I was walking around, headed back to my seat. Didn't see it happen. I guess one of the Padres up to bat got hit in the head with a baseball. So they, you can see they've got some medics out there. A lot of people surrounding home plate. So hopefully he's okay. Like I said, I didn't see it happen. So I'm, it's just what I was told. Okay, they're, they're clapping. It's a good sign. Walking over there, Grandpa Ross from the World Series days. He just sat down. David Ross. Ooh, nice cut. Nice hit. Taking second. Momentini. Woo. Center fielder, Cody Bellinger. Oh, Cody Bellinger up. Just got traded from the LA Dodgers, playing for the Cubs now, which is crazy. Bellinger. Walk into first, got Mancini at second, and we've got Gomes up the bat. He is the one that hit the home run that I missed earlier today. Come on! Yes! Scored! Mancini in. 
Nice hit. I was switching out batteries, so I missed it again. But Gomes hit a line drive. Cubs are up now, two to one. Madrigal up at the plate. Gomes at first. And Bellinger at second. This is awesome. I'm really loving the new Cubs lineup. I think, again, this is the most exciting lineup I've seen since the World Series winning team back in 2016. Three outs, but look, there's Cody Bellinger right there walking to the dugout. It's crazy seeing him in a Cubs uniform. I'm so used to, to rooting against him when, when he was with the Dodgers. The Cubs are up two to one. Got another, another old style. See, there we go. There's the logo. Cheers, go Cubs. Well, well, what I can do is say, well, we saw that's that. good. That is good. Having an old style here in Arizona. box the announcer's box up there with the Sloan Park sign and just a, again what an amazing field here in Mesa Arizona there really is nothing quite like spring training not good they just almost hit an infield home run Sullivan here's at third. Padres scored. I think it's a tie game now. Two and two. Tie game, runner on third. Wanted to point out, if I look straight ahead, you can see four peaks. It's cloudy out, so it's a little hard to see, but you can see those mountain peaks straight ahead. That's four peaks. That's the highest mountain in Maricopa County, over 7,000 feet tall. It's one of the more challenging hikes near Phoenix and I want to do that at some point this summer climb four peaks it's really awesome you can see it from Sloan Field it's a beautiful view of that so man Sloan Field one of the nicest fields of any baseball diamond I've ever been to oh. get it get it there you go good job guys What is happening here? What is happening here? Bottom of the ninth, Cubs are up to bat. They can win it all right here. The game is tied two to two. And what I did not know, just learned, is that there is no extra innings in spring training baseball. So if they don't score, it's just a tie game. So hopefully they can score and we can beat the Padres today. Let's see what happens. All right, we uh, got a player here that walked to first base. Madrigal is up. Really liking the new roster for the Cubs this year. I think they did a really great job on the offseason, making some trades. And this is the most exciting roster I've seen since the 2016 World Series winning team. 
No Seiya Suzuki today though. Ooh, nice line drive. Get down. All right. Good hit. Madrigal on first, another player on second. Coming alive here, bottom of the ninth. Nice! Is that in? Home run! Oh! Yes! Look at that! Cubs win! Cubs win! Oh, that's beautiful! Oh! <laughs> that's amazing! Yes! Walk off home run, bottom of the ninth. That was awesome. Woo! That go, Cubs, go! Go, Cubs, go! Hey, Chicago, what do you say? Cubs are gone home here today. What an amazing end to this game. A walk off home run at the bottom of the ninth. Cubs took the win today, my first spring training game here at Sloan Field. No better way to end this game against the Padres. Again, I think this is the most exciting roster I've seen on a Cubs team since their 2016 World Series win. So hopefully it's going to be an exciting season. I'm hoping to make it up to a Wrigley game later this year. But what an amazing time here at Sloan Field. I got to say, spring training I didn't really know much about prior to moving to hey. Arizona. So this is incredible. Go Cubs, go! They're going to win today. What an amazing walk-up home run. Go Cubs! 2023, excited for this season. I just noticed that small green clock above the scoreboard, kind of a nod to that old school scoreboard that they have with the clock on top at Wrigley Field. Just noticed that. And they're playing Sweet Home Chicago at the end of the game. I love this. Sloan Park, what an amazing experience. Highly recommend if you're ever in Arizona in the months of end of, end of February in the month of March. Spring training here is the real deal. I feel like I'm in Chicago, but the weather is amazing. Checking out the Cubs gift store. Look at this. So much to buy, so many t-shirts, hats. Still weird to see Bellinger, Cody Bellinger jersey here in Cubs colors. I'm so used to rooting against him when he was playing for the Dodgers, but to see him in Cubs colors, I'll welcome him aboard. He's a great player, I'll welcome him aboard. Look at that, they've got the Dansby Swanson jerseys here at the shop as well, number seven. Check out this shirt, this is awesome. Cactus League showing all of the teams that play here in Arizona for spring training. You can see all the states that they're from, what cities they represent. The pin game is strong here. Again, I'm a magnet guy. I'm team magnets, but there's a lot of pins. If you want, if you're a fan of pins, you got a lot to choose from here at this gift shop here at Sloan Park. There's Cubs and Cactus League hats, a lot of baseball swag here. This is the best store I've seen inside Sloan Field, so definitely come and check it out. Take home some Chicago Cubs gear. What an amazing game and experience here at Sloan Field, home of the Chicago Cubs spring training Cactus League team. An incredible experience, my first spring training game Incredible, a walk-off home run. I can't say enough, this is a beautiful field. It's fairly new and it is a legitimate Chicago experience. Having lived in Chicago for nine years, going to Wrigley Field numerous times and actually being in Wrigleyville when the Cubs were in the World Series. This is incredible, what an amazing experience here at Sloan Field. Highly recommend if you're gonna be in Arizona for spring training and can't decide who to see or what field to visit, this one is top of the list. Absolutely loved it. Go Cubs go. And thank you for watching. This is Eric with the Get Me Out of Here vlog. And it's time for me to get out of here. Go Cubs go. Training 2023. One, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Woo! Seventh inning stretch, go Cubs, go.